Another day of long lines and short tempers outside gas stations in Mexico City. For Uber drivers like Adrian Oyoki, the shortages mean crawling along in a line instead of making money out on the road. No, pues realmente nada más nos está deteniendo para poder conseguir el combustible. Right now it's stopping us from getting a hold of gas. There's an uncertainty about where we're going to find gas that we need to do our work. But as some citizens wait in long lines, others are flocking to alternative modes of transport like scooters and bike sharing apps. Scooter sharing app Lime says its number of daily users has jumped since the fuel shortages hit. We've seen a spike in some days up to twice as many downloads in the app here in Mexico. We've seen an increase from since we started, but naturally this, this gave us a little bit more momentum with an increase of up to twice as many users. Mexico's new president, Andres Manuel López Obrador, sparked the shortages this month after launching a crackdown on huachicol, local slang for stealing petrol from the pipelines that snake across this country. The national oil company Pemex says it was losing 65,000 barrels of fuel a day during much of 2018. As the fuel shortages began to bite, the president used one of his regular video dispatches to ask Mexicans to stick with it. Little by little, things are getting back to normal. Don't fall into panic buying. If you have petrol, don't worry, it's not going to dry up. Several other alternative transport firms, including China's Mobike, are reporting a boost in business. And as much as motorists want to solve the problem of huachicol, they say they're frustrated with the president's methods. That public frustration is now spilling out into local government, with officials from three states accusing the new administration of a lack of coordination in one of its first major moves since taking power last month. Giles Gibson, CGTN. Mexico City.